Greetings once again from True Life Community Church. Do you consider yourself arrogant? I mean, do you brag about some of your accomplishments? I read the story of a young man who was in high school, and he was a runner for the track team, and he was really good. He was a junior in high school, and he ran on the junior varsity team. He never lost a race from the time he was in seventh grade until his sophomore year in high school. He says, with that kind of a record, I became very arrogant and cocky. So my dad wanted to teach me a lesson. My dad asked the track coach to move me from the junior varsity team and allow me to run a race with the varsity level. Well, I was in the race with the varsity guys, and before long, I found myself slipping behind. At first, it was just a, a little bit. But as the race continued, I fell further and further behind and was embarrassed to wind up in a miserable sixth place. He says that after the race, he had a temper tantrum meltdown. His attitude was terrible. When his dad came over to calm him down, his dad told him that he asked the coach to put him in the race. He demanded to know why his dad would do such a thing. His father said, son, you needed to know how to handle yourself, not just as a winner, but you also needed to know how to handle yourself as a loser. You learn more from your losses than you do from your wins. After that, the junior varsity runner was so much more humble. God wants you and me to be balanced, that we know how to handle success, but also how to handle disappointments and losses. On purpose, he allows us sometimes to have both. Paul seems to encourage balance on many levels. He says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there's anything worth praise, think about these things. That's found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Father, we thank you for balance in life because we know it comes from you. Help us always to be balanced. In Jesus' name, amen.